I'm just going to do a few closing remarks before we break and get our trains. A few of us will hang around for a bit um, afterwards. Thank you. If you've got any, any questions, um, I'd like to first of all thank you all for attending um, again. Uh, it's been a really valuable session for us at the DFT and our colleagues in Innovate UK, etc., and our, our friends and work in various discovery projects. Thank you for that. I thank you for the TDI Secretariat who've done an excellent job today. It's been, I thought it's been very slick, um, very well organised and, a, and a, a great venue. The, we covered a lot of ground today, a lot of, lot of ground, and I, I was really impressed by the questions we got today. So there was a quite a sort of um, some very meaty, challenging, um, insightful questions, which is, which is kind of what we want. Um, and it allows us to go away and think and, um, and develop our policies, etc. Um, I think sort of the, some really good stuff in here in terms about moving forward. And I think the things that really struck me were you've got some usual stuff in here that you'd expect, such as around you know the thing about capital versus revenue and stuff like that. That's that's kind of always comes up but it's kind of in this context it's very much moved to this idea of moving to new di new business models and value sharing arrangements and Walter's point about trying to get some economic analysis into to this um, and in understanding the commercials and how can we make these models um, work was a key theme for me um, I thought also I sort of really saw the value of engagement today, and I, I like Baz's phrase actually about it's um, no engagement, no evidence. And I think actually the more we can all work together and actually learn the lessons and documenting stuff, the more stuff that we, evidence we're going to have for building these business cases, which is important for all of us in terms of getting forward the stuff that we want to. Um, procurement as well. Um, came up and I think it was Giuseppe's phrase around sort of procurement and funding built on old models um, and actually the fact that you know things are changing we've got the future mobility grand challenge etc and this is an opportunity to do things in a different way and I encourage you to engage in in, in that process um, and I'm quite I'm keen to get some future mobility colleagues to a future TDI event actually to to um, to help that engagement. Um, I encourage you to continue to look at the TDI website and the newsletter that comes around and to engage in things like the TRA, TRO um, survey um, and also a plug for the next event which is going to be in Bristol I believe in June sometime, middle of June. Okay. Yep. Um, and I'll hand over to David as well because we've got a, another announcement to make. Thank you, Matt. Um, I just wanted to say um, a special thank you to Laura at the back. She's going to kill me for this, but um, Laura's been with us for a year and a half um, and she's um, helped us massively, massively in um, taking TDI to where it is now. Um, she's off. Um, and changing career. Um, so best of luck uh, to Laura and thank you so much for your hard work. And special thank you to all of you for coming along and supporting us. Um, this is our sort of second year now and, and hopefully that will continue to grow. Um, as long as you keep coming to these events and, and keep contributing, that's the way it will go. Thank you.